Hey folks, welcome back. I'm a rough pebble and I'm playing some more subterrain, Mines of Titan. Picking up where I left off in the prior episode, we're going to go defend this reactor room. Um, I've been told that we're gonna need to have these plasma turrets by one of the uh, engineers in the camp. So I'm going to just go ahead and grab some of those. We're gonna need some plastic and some refined iron. Let's make sure we get some of that set up here. Let's do the combs. Canteens, broken watches. Let's do these cans. Okay. Um, we should also... Yeah, we need some more refined iron just across the board. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll hold on that anything to research here we don't have a ton of money so we'll just hold all right keep going down the combs are done the cans are done working on the plasma turrets here Make another one of these, and then maybe some barricades. Each one of these has five. Okay, so that's good to see. Maybe make a few barricades as well. Maybe 15 should be sufficient. We still have plenty of money here. We should maybe make a few repair kits just to repair our equipment. We've already lost a few things, like the... Um, Aha, uh -huh, here, yep, yeah, we'll take a pickaxe. And the scythe is... just about ruined. And I accidentally ruined our toxic leaves. Oh yeah, we have a lot of stuff here, huh? Toxic leaves, cave mushrooms. Let's use this to... 49 out of 85. Yeah. We don't need that right now. Let's go down. We have down here plasma. One of our plasma turrets is done. Great. do we have here? Okay, yes. Grab these. Um, we can drop some of that. We can drop one of these. Those are all bad quality. We'll drop this food in here. Go ahead and get this as well. Next drop all of this in here. Particle shooter, yeah, that's good. <sighs> High capacity battery. We should maybe research that. Uh, hold on. Let's see, is there anything here for me? No. Um, this thing... Cycle some of this. That could be good. Huygen bread. Toxic leaves. Okay. Drop all that in here. Drop all this in here. Okay. Alright, and what do we have here? Oh no, there's a ton of damage everywhere. Alright, and they were saying to... Okay, wait, let's, let's take a look at this. 
Reactor room is a critical facility in the camp located under the generator. It is also invaded from time to time by mobs of underground monsters. Players can install defense systems, such as gun turrets and traps, to keep the hordes at bay. If at all, if all the reactors are destroyed, the generator will melt down and cause a catastrophic explosion. Game over. When an invasion triggers, the camp management UI will display the number of turns remaining before monsters arrive. Okay. Let's take a look. Invasion in progress, 667 turns. Infection level. Okay. Okay, and Pierre Ando, you have a request. Incoming message from Pierre of Pebble. I'm working on a new prototype that may be useful to you. Let's talk when you get a chance. Okay. Visual prototype. Okay, then. We have another one of these plasma turrets. Barricade is done. And I, it seems like we would just put them here then, yeah? Set up, right? Yeah, it looks like that's the spot for us then. Set up. Set up here. Set up here. We've got some more repairs. Repair kits all good to go. We've got some barricades here. Um, how much ammunition? Maybe, okay, so, yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Excellent, excellent. Use on you. Use on you. And then, yeah, you definitely need a repair. Okay, that's better. And did we... We made a pickaxe. Yes. Let's make some more uh, lamps and oxygen canisters. I need this machinery. Recycle. Research. Facility level not met. High capacity battery. Let's do that. We'll do the toxic leaves research. The caves mushroom research. Research all of the, yeah, as much as we can here. Alright, we're out of money. We do have, though, a little... Uh, we can make some of these barricades here. What is the range on these, I wonder? Uh -huh, it doesn't say. Um, I think we should build the barricades here, then. I mean, that, that seems like a good spot. set up here okay but we can set them up here okay we made another oxygen canister Let's set these up here. There we go. And then 
hopefully you're able to do some damage here. Yeah. Alright, how many turns? 545. Alright, well, let's go t chat with Pierre Ondo then. We've, we've taken care of all of this. Okay. Uh, Kristen Oriole Solar. Incoming message from Christian. Hey, the camp's water pressure readings have been pretty low. I might need your help to fix it. Please come see me. Okay. Going plum. Incoming message from Sebel. Can you help me fix one of the mining drones? I'll tell you more when next I see you. Sure. Drones. Judith. Having fun in the mines. It's alright. It's alright. Um... And then... Nano-infection. Talk to Ida about the infection cure. Okay, yeah. That is something that we want help with right away. Medical. Take me down. Uh -huh, I wonder what happened here. I've returned. Is there any news about my nanobot infection problem? As a matter of fact, I do. I've made anti-nanobot shots available to produce. Using this item decreases your nano... Infection instantly. It is the only defense we currently have for you against the harmful effects at the moment. Please take the sample for now. Isco and I can produce more if we have enough materials. This breakthrough should make your time underground a lot less painful unless you don't like needles. Pack these shots if you think you'll be in contact with nano, nano infection, and I'll let you know if I come up with any other solutions. Good luck. Okay. <coughs> Okay. So. Okay. And I need to produce those. Requires tissue extract. Tissue extract, okay. Oh boy, we are so low on money. Okay, we need to go do a mission. Geode vibes. One moment. All right, sorry about that. I had to step away just for a brief moment. Um, so then we'll probably need to do either this, this, Be the best. Base stats reach 8, 120 combined. Night to remember. Confirms, confirm Nina's suitor. Geodes. Okay. Maybe we hold on to that money. Maybe we hold on to that money. Just in case we need it for something else. Let's take a look at where we're at here. 448. Where's Sebel? Okay. You're in the mine over there. Okay, we're gonna hold on going out there then. Let's go into the water. 
Is it you? Are you here for water or to join me in prayer? What do you have in stock? That's not what I need. And that's not who I'm looking for then. There's you. Christian, yeah. Good, I finally ran into you. Look, the water system isn't looking great right now. Is there something going on with it? Well, remember that earthquake? It, took, it shook more than just the ground. I heard there were full-on cracks in the ground in the reactor room, which isn't good. Several of our pipes ran underneath that reactor. Everything has ripple effects that aren't obvious when we find, until we find them. Exactly. I've been u busy installing workarounds and rerouting our plumbing so we can get water running up again. Uh, but it's more than one man can handle. Makes sense. What can I do to help? I need your help to run diagnostics at water panel. And water panel is installed around camp. If you hit the w power plant, clinic, and supply depot, I can handle the rest. Okay. Sounds good, then. The clinic supply and a generator. Well, okay, that works for us. We're about, we'll go, we'll hit the supply and the clinic first. Because we still have 356 turns on this. Let's hit supply. Aha, I see. running diagnostics on the water system. Everything is operating normally here. On to the next location. Okay. Let's do clinic next. Likely down here. Yes. That would be my assumption. Ah, there we are. Running diagnostics. Everything is operating normally here. Okay. Next location. Let's head to the generator then. Alright, let's grab this. Oh, we definitely don't need to be running our lamp right now. What am I doing? Okay, that was silly. Um, yes, we can just take this out for now. After a moment, the screen freezes and you hear a creaking sound from the pipes growing louder and louder. You found the backup. Suddenly, the pipe bursts and water sprays everywhere and begins to flood the area. This is especially bad due to the possibility of electrocution. You are in the power plant, after all. Cassini? Contacting Christian. Hey, Novato, you find something? The issue was at the power plant. We have a pipe burst and water is going everywhere. What do we do? We can't let the power plant flood or the camp will lose all power and water in one fell swoop, not to mention possible deaths from electrified water. I'm sending you plans for sealant canister. Inject it into the system and it'll seal a leak. You gotta do it fast though. I'm going now. Sealant. You couldn't have put the order in then, just to build it. Machinery and refined iron. Um, the 
yes, we have to go up here first. Let's run down. And inject the sealant into it. As quickly as you can, you open the sealant slot and shove the canister inside. Since it has no power currently, you use all your strength to rotate it clockwise and activate the sealant. Within seconds, the pipe seals itself and the leaks are brought to a halt. You can't help but take a moment to yourself, simply breathing with the knowledge that the whole camp is almost lost, but you were able to stop it just in time. Phew, that was close. Agreed, Rough Pebble, we should de debrief with Christian right away. Okay. should go down. Alright, we accomplished a few things in that brief period. Okay. 97 turns. What is this thing? Welcome to Particle Accelerator System. Time is of the essence, Rough Pebble. If we are ready to stand against the encroaching invasion, activating it will hasten the monster's attack. How can it do that, Cassini? The creatures are currently burrowing through the extremely dense layer of rock, using only their innate senses to track the reactor's location. The acceler accelerator was once used to make mining easier by loosening mi minerals, but it is also quite loud. So, you're saying that activating the accelerator will let the monsters dig faster and act as a homing beacon so they can so they arrive sooner. Exactly, but I caution against using it before ensuring proper defenses are implemented. Otherwise, we are only inviting a quick death. Noted, okay, let's give it a go. What do you do? Let's smash that red button then. Activity detected at the reactor facility. Prepare fortifications to protect the reactor. Okay. do remove, does that mean that it goes into here? Yeah. And is that a way to cheese barricade defenses? If I remove this one. Mass bioactivity has been eliminated. Confirmed. Nope, it's not a cheese. Alright, you can definitely just you can, um, they are, they have the same health. I just wasn't sure about if it, like, gave them more health or what, whatnot. Um, no, and it doesn't, so that's good. Let's head up here. Okay, and now we're all, we're all done here. Okay, good. Reset here. This is... Use this. Use this. 
23.8. It doesn't... Okay, it's completely gone now. Alright. Take that. Okay. So, um, good. Clues from the past get to the underground facility. so bad. And Brett wants what again? Geode blue, geode purple, geode red. Um, here. Aha, uh -huh, but these aren't geodes then. found any geodes. Okay. Never mind. We don't care about you. We're going to Christian. We're gonna need food and water and, and rest here soon. But for now, we can, uh... I knew you were the best person for the job, Novato. You did a great job, and our pro water problems have been solved. And with the leak on and my updated plumbing routes implemented, the camp can actually produce water with less effort and raw materials. Oh, really? Well, good, thing happen good things happen when we work together, right? Exactly, and I'll be able to keep up with the plumbing alone from here on out, but since you put in some hard work, take this as payment. Camp's water resource production amount has been increased, and you received two credits. We're at point three here. Thank you. I'm happy it all worked out in the end. Me too. See you around, Novato. Okay. Okay. Plus point four then. Um. What next then? How much did we get in credits? Substantial amount. Wonderful. Okay. Um. Move you over here. There we go. Red shards. Blue nano. Okay. Protection plus one. Okay, what next? Droning on. Yeah, let's go talk to Sebel and Pierre. Sebel and Pierre. That's Those would be good folks to chat with real fast. And then maybe we'll get some rest. Sebel is where. Oh, she's... Yeah, okay. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, first we'll go into here. Is that you, Pierre? No. No, that's Drissy. Mm, this might have been Pierre over here. Yeah, your presence gives us hope. Hey, Pierre, you have something useful for me? 
Well, not yet. It's a work in progress. I hope to finish it soon so Judith can raid its build, too. But that's something my brother Liam and I used to, to do back in, in Gabon. We'd come up with crazy challenges and see whose device worked best. Judith makes for a good sister from another mister here on Titan. <laughs> then it occurred to me that when I'm building that what I'm building could help you down in the mines too. I want to keep exactly what it is secret for now, but if you can collect a few components, I can make a second one for you. What do you say? I don't see why not. What do you what do you need? The first two parts are a fine painted glass and a micro battery. That's there's nothing I can use around camp, so you should check the mines. I'm adding plans for the third part directly to the camp crafting list. It's a specialized processor. I hope you could produce for me. Other than that, I have the other necessary components. Sounds easy enough. I believe I know where we can find parts for Pierre, Rough Pebble. You're always on top of things, Cassini. What's your plan? The market level may be a place to find glass usable for the project. Tech has manufactured several micro battery models, often for portable energy weapons. We may be able to find one or more in the underground security facilities. And, as Pierre noted, we simply need enough craft materials to produce the processor he needs. Do you have any guesses for what he's building based on these parts? After analyzing the component list, I have deduced the exact device. However, Pierre wishes it to remain secret for now, so I will honor that. So you're in on it too, huh? Oh well, let's get some parts. Okay. Processor. Alright, there we go. Alright, and then we go chat with Sebel. And then we'll go get some rest. Yes, nighttime sets in. an eye out for damaged drones underground. Thanks. Hey, Sebel, I'm ready to hear about your drone problem. I wish there were more. There was more to tell. I've hit a brick wall. Let me show you. You follow Sebel as she leads you to the garage. Here she is. I call her Pyro. She was the drone I used every day here on Titan until the mines closed. And now it doesn't work? Well, Pyro has always been temperamental, but I used to be able to strip other drones for parts to repair her. Unfortunately, the other mining drones were other, either abandoned underground and probably destroyed by monsters down there, or are now quarantined by Tao as to not expose people to the contagion. He's not budging on that decision, so my normal methods are just not possible now. I brought Py Pryo here in... Is it Pryo or Pyro? Pryo here in hopes that Idrissi and I could figure something out together, but no luck there either. There are no parts for drones here. We can do nothing. I know, I know. I wish I, he wasn't right, but he definitely is. Uh, but there's that's where you come in. If you find any drones underground, can you bring them back? Can, can you bring back their motors, controller boards, or transmitters? Some of the pieces might be too damaged, but I can use slightly broken pieces just fine. Certainly, I can look out for damaged drones while I'm in the mines pretty easily. You can count on these seven. Thanks. If we get enough parts, we can finally get Pyro. Pryo, Pyro. Flying again, and that would bring me so much joy. I'll start searching now, later. Alright. Alright. And... Lastly, before we head back, yes, Alexi is in here. Alexi, live like a wolf, howl like a wolf, remember that. Ask about a date with Nina. Alexi, just the man I was looking for. Good to see you, wolf. To what do I owe the honor? I want to potentially set you up with a friend of mine on a blind date. Are you serious? Well, I'm open to this since you're the one asking. Only if I can determine you're a good match. So, let me ask you about... Family. What's your relationship with your family like? We have big families in Russia. I'm one of six kids and all of us would kill for each other. Parents are even still together. Family is strong. 
Lexi and Nina have opposite family lives, but this isn't a bad thing due to their lo due to his loyalty. Neutral. Let me ask you about attraction. What kind of partners are you attracted to? Blondes. I like bl strong blondes who don't take crap from anyone. If they can drink like me, even better. Nina aligns almost exactly with Alexi's attraction preference. Result is positive. Let me ask you about work. How does your work affect your love life? Work is work. What's more important is how we have fun. If Nina isn't invested in her work, a strong off-the-clock lifestyle could be helpful for her. Result is neutral. Let me ask you about exes. Tell me about your past relationships. Too many to count. Lots of opportunities. Lots of women. I don't like to be alone. Nina may be intimidated by someone as experienced as Alexi, and we cannot be sure he wouldn't cast her aside quickly either. Result is negative. Let me ask you about... Alright, that's that. And then Tao was the other one, isn't it? Unless you're paying... Oh no, it was Fang. Hmm, where... Where can I find Fang? Let's talk to Fang real fast, and then we'll head back. Alright. Oh, I didn't realize Fang worked in here. Okay. There you are, Fang. Can do it all. I'm primarily responsible for maintaining our mining equipment since the mine shuts down. I've been helping at the power plant. Sounds like you're keeping it. It sounds like they're still keeping you busy. My dad said it was a mistake to come to Titan, but it's honest work and it calms me. Can't beat that. Ask about a date with Nina. Hey, Fang, are you busy? Always busy, but I can make time. What's up? I think you're potentially a great match for a blind date with a friend of mine. Is that something you'd be game for? If I can find the time for a date, I wouldn't say no. Ooh, let's see if you make a good match. Let me ask you about family. What's your relationship with your family like? I'm an only child and grew up with a lot of pressure from my dad. We worked through a lot of it, but I still find myself instinctually wanting to please him. Nina and Fang have almost identical family circumstances, which could help them relate to each other. Positive. Attraction. What kind of partner are you attracted to? This may sound sexist, but I'm... Into soft, sweet women. If they are shorter than me, I like that as well. Fang's preference in appearance doesn't match with Nina. Potentially a negative result. Let me ask you about work. How does your work affect your love life? The work I do is just to make enough money to survive and sustain my lifestyle. Nina and Fang seem to both be dismissive of, of their job. The result is neutral. And your past relationships. A few girlfriends. Even almost got married once. Family always came first, though, and something always forced a breakup. Finding love is hard. Fang has been controlled by his circumstances. It is possible he would make different choices on Titan without outside in force. Without outside forces at play. The result is neutral. Let me ask you about... That's all. Let me know if I need to take a night off. After speaking with the potential suitors, are you ready to choose Nina's blind date? All suitors have the potential of being a good date for Nina. That's why this is such a hard choice, but I have to make the right one. Who have you chosen for Nina? I think Alexi. It's an interesting choice. Why pick him? He's aggressive, but Alexi has a heart and could show Nina a good time. I think that's what she needs right now. Even if there's a chance their connection won't last forever, I see potential there. Now that we've chosen Nina's blind date, it's time to solidify the evening's other details, including obtaining a rose, candles, and securing a location for the date to occur. Ah, say you want about a rose, she's the expert on plants, and David might have access to candles since he sells pretty much everything. Alright, and I may and may I suggest speaking with Miriam about using the pub for the location? Great idea, let's, let's go make this day perfect. Alright. So enough of that for now, we're gonna go rest.
We're gonna rest for now. Alright. Let's go get some sleep here. Probably need another weapon here soon, though. Um, and with that, I think I'm going to end this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe and like, and we'll see each other in the next one. Thanks for watching.